Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a very interesting geometry math problem. Here we have given a quarter circle with radius 1 and there is a circle inside the quarter circle. Our target is to find out the area of this circle. Oh no, as we know that the area of circle is phi r square. Now to find out the area of this circle, here we need the value of the radius of this circle. Now to find out the radius of this circle, here first of all we will join the center of this quarter circle with this one point of tangency. So this figure will become here this is the radius of the quarter circle which is 1 unit but this is the radius of the circle. So let us suppose the radius of the circle is small r. So this length will become this will become 1 minus small r. Now we will join this center with this one point of tangency and this one point of tangency. So this circle and this figure will become now this side will be small r because this is the radius of the circle and this will be also small r. Now as we know that the radius is always perpendicular to the tangent line at the point of tangency. So there at both sides the angle will be a right angle 90 degrees angle. And similarly here the angle at both sides will be a right angle. And here obviously this angle is a right angle 90 degrees angle. If three angles are right angles so the port angle will be also a right or 90 degrees angle. So here this is a square. Now we know that this all sides of the square are equal. So this side will be small r and this side will be also small r. Now as our target is to find out the value of r. So for that here we will apply the Pythagoras theorem in this one right angle triangle. Where its hypotenuse is 1 minus r. Perpendicular is r and base is r. So by Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to here our hypotenuse is 1 minus small r square is equal to base square that is r square plus perpendicular square that is also r. Now here r square plus r square is simply 2 r square and we will expand this using a minus b whole square identity which is equal to 1 square so 1 square is simply 1 plus r square minus 2 r. Now we will take this r square to the left hand side so 2 r square minus r square is simply r square and this will become plus 2r and this is 1. Now here we will add 1 to both sides of this equation so this will become this is r square plus 2r plus 1 and 1 plus 1 is simply 2. Now look to the left hand side this is an algebraic identity a square minus b square plus 2 times ab. So this left hand side will become r plus 1 whole square is equal to 2. Here we will take square root on both sides to eliminate the square from the left hand side. So this will become r plus 1 is equal to plus minus square root of 2. So here we have two values of r plus 1. That are r plus 1 is equal to negative square root of 2 and r plus 1 is equal to positive square root of 2. So here we will take this one to the right hand side. So this will become r is equal to minus square root of 2 and minus 1. But here r represents the radius of a circle which is always positive. And this value in the right hand side is the negative value. So therefore it is not possible. So here we will reject this one value of r. Now we will solve this one equation. So here, again here we will take this one to the right hand side. So this will become r is equal to square root of 2 minus 1. Here square root of 2 is greater than 1 so this value is positive. So this is the correct value of r and correct radius. Now here we have the value of the radius of this smaller circle, this circle. So therefore here we can very easily find out the area of this circle. So therefore the area of this circle will become that is phi r square. Now the value of phi up to two decimal places above that is 3.14 times and here the radius is square root of 2 minus 1 whole square. Simplifying this right hand side this gives him about 0 0.54 square units. And that is our final answer and final area.